Imagine discovering decades of ecosystem history in a box of dusty air filters. Here is what happened and why it matters. In northern Sweden, scientists had stored thousands of paper filters from an air monitoring station that began in the 1960s to watch for radioactive fallout. A team led by Per Stenberg at Umeå University realized those filters had also been quietly collecting fragments of DNA from everything living nearby. In a new nature communication study, they sequenced environmental DNA from hundreds of filters spanning 34 years. They picked up genetic traces from roughly 2,700 kinds of organisms, including plants, fungi, insects, microbes, birds, fish, and even large mammals. Viewed week by week, the data reveal a clear long-term decline in local biodiversity, with birch forests and the species that depend on them fading over time. The pattern cannot be explained by climate alone and points strongly to human land use and forestry practices. Because similar filter archives exist all over the world for pollution and radiation control, the team says they could be turned into a global early warning system for ecosystem change, invasive species, and new diseases. To me, this study shows how science can squeeze insight from data we already have. It implies that governments have fewer excuses for ignoring biodiversity loss because the tools to track it are sitting on shelves.